Hi there, it's Ryan G. Wright with DoHardMoney.com. And the question of the day is, is buying land a good investment? And uh, this question is going to really depend on what your investment strategy is. You see, in most cases, buying land is pretty speculative. Now, there are some land flippers uh, that make offers that are ridiculously low to people. And if they end up getting them, they feel pretty confident in the next year they can flip the property. So if you set that aside, because typically in that they're buying land for like a few thousand dollars or five thousand dollars, maybe up to 10, but not, not much more than that. And they're basically saying if the tax value is ten thousand dollars I'll offer you one thousand dollars so they're basically just doing it based based upon tax records sending out mass mailers if that property goes under contract they are then getting with agents in the area the cool thing about that is you can do it everywhere the downside to it is they're typically not huge paydays and there is some risk because you're holding that property usually for a full year and they're typically in areas that aren't really well populated they're kind of in the outskirts but it is a strategy um, so there is that. The pros on that is you can do this in any state. Um, the pros are it's pretty low risk. So that's something that, that you can take into consideration. But other land purchases that are typically happening are more for unless they're a developer looking to buy the property and improve the property um, and then turn it into lots or commercial, whatever the case is. And unless you've got that specific skill set, then you're really just buying land to be a speculator. And that's one of the things, one of our rules of investments is we really don't like to speculate. You see, when you buy a property, you fix it up and you resell it, you have a really, really good idea on what that property is going to sell for. And the reason is, is because you have great comparables that have just recently sold in the last six months and you know exactly how much those have sold for. And based upon knowing what those have sold for, tells you how much you're going to be able to sell your property for with pretty good, with a pretty good amount of assurances. Now, nothing's ever solid, nothing's ever 100%, but you have a pretty good idea on this that you're going to be able to sell that property within that range because you've got multiple comparables. We like to have three to four sold. We like to have three to four actives. So we have a really good idea what that's going to sell for. So unless you're uh, buying land. Now, there's lots of people that bought land and sat on it forever and then they end up making a whole bunch of money. And that's really speculation because if the uh, if things would have gone on one side of the tracks instead of the other side of the tracks, I'll give you a great example. There's an area down by me um, where the freeway runs through it. And for whatever reason, the east side of the freeway just really blossom and the west side of the freeway hasn't or it's taken quite a bit longer. So one of the problems you have with land is making the tax payment um, when you're buying the land getting a return on the investment because you really don't know if you're waiting for progress to come to you you just have no idea how long it's going to take to come to you. So if you've got money and you want to gamble a little bit that progress is going to continue it's going to make it to you you might want to look at land. I would much rather make an investment in a cash flowing investment uh, buying a rental property, a single family house, renting it out, or buying a property, fixing it up and reselling it, where I actually know what my returns are actually going to be with a pretty good, with a lot less risk. You see, for us, we want to do the least amount of work we want to make the most amount of money and we want to do it as fast as possible and land doesn't typically fall under those unless you're doing the land flipping that we just talked about. Hope this is helpful. If you want more tips and tricks, check us out at dohardmoney.com and make it a very profitable day.